Frank Fort alongside Natalie Calabat. Natalie, crazy game last night. We actually played what amounted to a doubleheader, 14 innings, and the Pirates won it five to four. Yeah, if only we knew coming into this one, right, that we were going to be playing a 14 total innings. This one was jam-packed from start to finish. In the first inning for FAU, Jesse Anamora singles to right. Cameron Jackson advanced to third, and Cameo Prasuti scores to make it one nothing FAU. Then East Carolina had a response. Taylor Woodring doubled the left center. Morgan Johnson scores to make it two to one ECU. Then FAU, Zoe Jones said, "Uh uh, she homers to right field. That ball is." gone to tie this one up at two apiece. I mean, this game was just so exciting. We were on the edge of our seats the entire time. Then in the sixth inning, there's Taylor Woodring. She homers right after Jones does. Talk about an answer. Morgan Johnson scores to make it 4-2 ECU. Then in the seventh, Trinity Slaughterback doubled the left center. A two RBI, Jesse Amora scores, Camp Jackson scores to knot it up and send this one into extras. And this play right here, Frank, was quite interesting. Yeah, the Owls had a chance to win it. A line shot off the batter, Zoe Jones. Runners doubled off second. That's the third out. But for some reason, ECU thinks the play is still alive. And you can see the umpire at home going, no, 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 that's already three outs. Don't worry about it. And then it, Logan Sutton takes the cake, Homer to left, to give ECU that 5-4 to four win in 14. Picture perfect play. I don't think she could have drew that up any better. She's a stud, and Coach Clark said, your jaw will drop when you watch her. She's so awesome. Just like we saw a few plays ago, just her speed, her quickness. Great read, great communication. Absolutely perfect shot. And man, she showed off her quickness running the bases. Look at where that ball bounced right in front of the first base bag. And she sprinted to third. What a play. Here's another look at it. Fantastic line drive. Drops right in time. UAB nowhere near it. Base hit. Cordelia. Great call by Bursuti to just wait a second, see where that ball goes, and then she takes off. Beautiful high flying shot, and that'll drop. Gives FAU plenty of time to score two owls. Here comes Bursuti. She waited on third, thought the throw went right past the catcher, and Made it home and add two more to the board for FAU. Seven to three now. Nowhere to throw. You'll see the timing of this one. As soon as it hits her glove, she looks at both first and third and both already on the bag at that point. We'll take another look at that play. Chanel blasts this one. No blazer in sight. Clear for Liebrich to just trot right in and score and FAU starts off here fast. This is exactly the momentum that you want to see from UAB right now. Down six to nothing, get a little bit of a spark. No outs, two on. That's a good confidence boost for Cummings. Schlotterback is hard to get out. Solid pitch right there for Cummings. Two outs now. Schlotterback with power, with pop. Right to left. I mean, look at that, rolls right down the line. Great placement. First two games of this series, Natalie go to Florida Atlantic. Yeah, I think we're really starting to see how dangerous this FAU softball team is, especially in conference play, firing on all cylinders. A lot of firepower right away from FAU. They scored four in the first. Kylie Chanel doubled the right center. Presley Liebert scores to make it 1-0 FAU. And it continued. Cameron Jackson this time singled up the middle. Chanel goes in to score. And it just continued. Trinity Schlotterbeck doubled the left center. A two RBI. Jesse Anamora scores 
And then Jackson comes in to score to make it four to nothing, FAU. But UAB, they had a response back in the top of the fourth. This is Carly Wilkins reached on a fielder's choice. An RBI, McKinley Hubbard advanced to third. He scored on an error by the second baseman. Then Lindsey Smith scores, but FAU is still leading six to two. And then the sixth inning, Schlotterbeck doubled down the line. An RBI for Jessiana Mora to score. An incredible showing from FAU. It's Sunday fun day here, and the Owls have been backed by fantastic pitching so far this weekend. Great hit by Dorset, and great decision by Dupree. You see, she was waiting. Do I go? Went to third, and then realized, hey, you know, I'm going to just turn the Jets on. I'm going to go home and get the Blazers on the board here. And now UAB has a one nothing lead early. What a way to finish the game, the series. They're down three to one. Cam Jackson steps up in a huge way. And then Mora just puts the icing on the cake to close this one out. A series sweep for FAU. FAU is flying high into this one, ranked number 25 in Softball America poll. Now, there are three polls, and when we spoke to FAU coach Jordan Clark about the women being ranked, she said they are hungry to be ranked in all three, not just one of them. So they are coming into this one on an eight-game win streak and tied for first place in the American with North Texas. But on the other side, ECU took two out of three versus a ranked Charlotte team. So that two and seven conference record that the Pirates have, Jordan Clark knows should, cannot be taken lightly at all. It was close. I give her credit for going for it, going home, a huge hit, but just not quick enough to get the run, but huge play by ECU. They could not have responded better. This FAU team, they have the personality, they have the heart, they have the grit. And they've got the muscle. Jones sends this one flying over the fence. It's just a home run kind of a series. We saw a bunch of home runs yesterday. And Kylie Chanel gets the party started here in the bottom of the first. Waste no time. FAU coming back, swinging Chanel over the fences to give FAU a 3 nothing lead. 2-1 pitch, loop down the left field line, in for a base hit. Shane Winkler's going to hold the runner at third. Sutton and the bases are full of Pirates. Excellent hit. As Shane Winkler said, she finds a way to get on base. She is a tough out, and she proved that right there. ECU's in a great position. Lambert backed up by incredible defense here. Look at Moore, oh my goodness, diving catch. This series has honestly been incredible. It has been amazing to see the fight and the grit from both of these teams. FAU coming back, swinging right away, and they get revenge getting the win tonight. This series has been exciting from start, and I'm sure the finish will be just as good. FAU came out swinging. There's Kylie Chanel swinging for the fences. Presley Liebrich scores. Cameo Kasuti scores. And FAU jumps out to a 3-0 lead, but they were not done in the first inning at all. There's Trinity Slaughter back. Homer to left center. Jesse Onomora scores to make it 5-0 FAU just after one inning. But ECU comes back in the third. They strung together four hits and three runs. Dalton, the catcher, blooped one down the left field line. That'll fall for a double. Run scores and they cut a 5-0 lead to 5-3. FAU has a response. Kate DeLeon doubled the center. Trinity Schlotterback scores. Cam Jackson scores. Kylie Chanel scores, make it 8-3. FAU, ECU firing back. Powerful hitters. Here's in the fifth, Logan Sutton. She goes over the fence. Mary Catherine Scott scores. Haley Massaro scores. And it's 8-7 FAU. ECU really tied it up close here. But in the fifth, FAU has a response. That's Camp Orland, a sack bunt. Holly Bluso advanced to third, and then ended up scoring on an error. Great athleticism. Taking a look at Johnson on third. Turns the Jets on, slides home just in time. I mean, she's just an all-around beast. Total, total package. 
fantastic athlete. Huge play, a dart right past Johnson. We talked about FAU not wanting to hit it in that direction, but that was just perfect placement. Take a look at this in slow motion. Johnson playing a little bit further off the line than she normally does, even against the left-handed hitter. And, and just, it was just enough space. Just those few inches will make that much of a difference. Huge yeah. momentum boost for F8. What an effort from Jackson. Taking a look back at that, I mean, look at this. She dives and rolls. Gotta give her a ton of credit for that. Tough grab to make. She's headed for third and she'll get there easily with a triple. I don't blame her for going for it. Gotta do it while you can. And that was the perfect opportunity for Anderson. And holy smokes is she fast. A thrilling conference series weekend. ECU came in here to fight and FAU just coming back into this game, clawing their way and, and getting the W, very impressive.